Hello everybody, today I'm going to mod the NVIDIA GTX 980 Reference Design Cooler, a tutorial for you how to remove the green color from the GeForce GTX letters. Tools that you need, number one, one set of screwdrivers, number two, Dremel tool, number three, thermal paste to reapply to your graphics card, number four, alcohol to remove the old thermal paste, number five, coffee filter to remove the thermal paste, number six, a screw organizer, and number seven, and most important, a lot of time, patience, and a stable hand. Let's get started. Alright, the number one thing that you want to do is carefully remove all the screws from the backplate and remove the backplate if your reference design card has one. Once you have removed those screws, it's time to remove the PCB from the cooler. Slowly wiggle it to the side and slowly pull it up. Be very careful and gentle when you do it. I use nose pliers to remove and unplug the cable for the logo. Wiggle it to the side and do it carefully. Then I go to the other side and remove the fan cable. Carefully wiggle it to the side and carefully, very carefully remove it. Alright, it's now time to take the cooler apart. I fast forward this video because I didn't want to make a 2 hour video. Follow my steps and you'll be good to go. Okay, now that we remove all of the screws, it's time to remove the plate that covers the fan. It's a little tricky. Once you have it out, remove it out of the way and it's time to remove the green logo. Let's remove the green paint of the letters. I did have a little accident where with a metal brush using the Dremel tool, I scraped part of the black coloring from around the letters. So I had to come back and touch up a little bit with black paint. Time to prepare and paint the back plate. I didn't want to cover the serial numbers in the car model, so I covered that up. I 
After painting the backplate, let it dry for one day. Time to clean the chip of our CPU now. I use a Q-tip to remove the thermal paste and I finish the final cleanup with a coffee filter and some alcohol. I do the same procedure with the heatsink plate of the cooler. It is now time to reassemble the cooler back together. Make sure you align the holes very good so you don't mess up the thread of the screws. Take your time and don't rush it. Once the cooler is reassembled, it is now time to apply our thermal paste. I use the Arctic 5 Silver. I have done this many times. Trust me. After you apply the thermal paste to the chip, it's time to connect the cables back together and reattach the PCB to the cooler. Then it's time for our gorgeous back plate. Guys, I have to say, making this video, it was very challenging and it was about 10 or 11 hours of video footage. That is the reason why I, I fast forward too many clips. As you can see right there, I did messed up with the Dremel tool. I scraped apart by accident and I got so mad, but I already fixed it. Here is our final product and how it looks. It looks gorgeous if you're trying to go with a white theme. Now if you're wanting to go with a different color, well then you can paint over the white with whatever color that you want. Guys thank you for watching my video. I hope that this video helped you a little bit. If you have any questions or anything like that, hit me up down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.